All right, so in this first demo, let's set up our environment for doing Terraform on our laptop. So I'm here on terraform.io. I can download for those different platforms. You see, I'm going to start with it on Windows X64. Uh, so I've downloaded it, put it in my path, and I'm running now 12.6 on my laptop. I can also go on shell.azure.com. That's where I can have a hosted shell within Azure. I define the storage for that, and you see that we have built-in Terraform, which is present, and you can leverage here. We have version 12.5, which is present there. And you can even have a nice environment for edition, which is basically code. So you have a minimal version of Visual Studio Code that you can use directly from there, and you have a dual window where you can run your code and edit at the same time. I still prefer Visual Studio Code on my laptop because I still have uh, all the edit uh, features. So now I'm creating um, a directory here. I'm going to put my main.tf file and you see that as I change it, I have uh, the color coding of my extension and I have the extension installed. So now I can have autocomplete uh, for my environment. So let's do a first test out of that, and we're going to have our main.tf. We're going to just put provider uh, for Azure RM. And we're going to create our first set of resources and edit here. So you can have the Terraform Hub to get started with some code. So you have the install and configure the platform. And you can see that first for the authentication, I can use either uh, Azure AD service principles uh, that I can create here and I can get the name for the variables that I need to use, uh, like the subscription ID, client ID, tenant ID, and secret. Or I can rather just reuse the current Azure CLI authentication context, which I'm going to do here. So here I'm going to copy paste uh, just a bit of code with the creation of a resource group. We see here that I'm running Azure RM resource group and I'm creating something called my resource group. That's the Terraform name. And the technical name deployed on Azure would be test resource group inside the West US region. So now I can have my uh, terminal uh, down. I can look on the further uh, samples that I have here and I can add, just copy uh, and paste the code for creating my first virtual network. So I copy, uh, just a code from here, another resource. So resource is the fundamental aspect of Terraform where I'm going to deploy something. If we zoom in a little bit, we're going to see that inside this uh, code, I have uh, my resource group and my virtual network. They are not yet together. So I have my VNet deployed in East US while my resource group is in West US. So let's do something. First, for the resource group name, I'm going to reuse the variable Azure RM resource group dot. And here you see I don't have the right resource group. So I'm going to change it to my resource group. I'm going to paste that into the object name and I can add dot name for the name of the resource group. You can note that it's a very dot 11 type of syntax, but that still works here. So I can use that. And then for the location, I can do the same thing. I can inherit the location of my uh, resource group. That's it. Uh, that's what I have for my configuration of my environment. I can add uh, the tagging for the resource group so that I have a consistent uh, type of tagging for this environment. And I can say that I want it to be environment equal Terraform um, demo. So that's my uh, little environment. Let's do and execute that into the next demo.